starting this summer. Federal agencies will partner with industries to boost manufacturing in areas critical to our national security. I just saw an example backstage. Uh, the Defense Department scientists, uh, we, we, uh, we call it DARPA, uh, the folks who brought us stealth technology, and by the way, who brought us the internet, uh, wanted to see if it was possible to design defense systems cheaper and faster. So they found a small company in Arizona called Local Motors, and they gave them a test. You have one month to design a new combat support vehicle, and you've got three months to build it. Their CEO, Jay Rogers, is here today, uh, and as an ex-Marine who lost a couple of buddies in combat, understood the importance of increasing the speed and adaptability and flexibility of our manufacturing process for the vehicles that are used in theater. So Local Motors solicited design ideas on their website, chose the best out of 162 that it received, built and brought this new vehicle here ahead of schedule. We just took a look at it. Not only could this change the way the government uses your tax dollars, because think about it, instead of having a 10-year lead time to develop a, a piece of equipment uh, with all kinds of changing specs and a moving target, if we were able to collapse the pace at which that manufacturing takes place, that could save taxpayers billions of dollars. But it also could get products out to theater faster, which could save lives more quickly, and could then be used to transfer into the private sector more rapidly, which means we could get better broad products and services that we could sell and export around the world. So it's good for American companies, it's good for American jobs, it's good for taxpayers, and it may save some lives uh, in places like Afghanistan for our soldiers. So that's what this is all about.